So I look after Australia and New Zealand, so I'm part of an Asia-Pac team. Um, so lo locally, uh, my, my budget is about $50 million. It's, 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 it's sizable in the APAC scheme of things, but we're actually spending more money in APAC to, to try and push into some of the more emerging countries at the moment. The team size is about 140 people, and I have about f and another 40 in Malaysia, which is, which is what my extended team, so it, what we class an extended captive team. Um, and they serve just Australia at the moment. It comes down to the fact that I can put in 40 people there for the cost of probably 10 or 15 down in Australia, but, they, but they're logging in through the virtual desktop environment, which means that I can, uh, all the infrastructure is down in Australia. So, so they log in as if they were sitting uh, through virtual desktop environment, through thin client, uh, as if they were sitting at a desk in Sydney. But obviously the cost of my facilities and the resources are a lot cheaper. A lot of the business analysts, the architects, project managers still reside in Sydney. And they're the, they're the ones that will work very closely with the business in terms of any of the sizable changes. Um, and any of the sizable changes, I, I still think, it, I still believe it makes sense to keep them. Um, the, 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 the more highly skilled IT staff in Sydney because they're doing the more significant changes at this time. They then hand over once things are finished to that BAU team in Malaysia to then support yeah, and maintain yeah. it going forward. We bought a company in um, Malaysia to, to expand into APAC, um, so I took that as an opportunity to put an extended team in Malaysia to give me some services at a reduced cost, and that, that seems to be working pretty well. They log in, as I mentioned, through a virtual desktop environment as if they were sitting in the Sydney office, um, and I, they cover a lot of my business as usual sort of uh, production support and small changes. A lot of the project development still happens in Sydney. The main reason we did it was to give a capacity enhancement, that's what it was. It wasn't a replacement, um, it was to actually put in more, more resource capacity. Um, so we're, we've finished the transition, we're work, we've finished the training, we're just now working through um, um, getting the SLAs to where I want them to be. We didn't um, think outsourcing was the right um, idea at this time. Um, it was about giving confidence to the business and the board. They, 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 had, they would have confidence having their own team, um, understanding that they worked for us, um, and, and not having an outsource which is more of a service-based. So, so all the employees still report and, and report to me. They're still part of our business. Uh, we performance manage them, we recruit them, we, we control the resourcing. So. Um, we weren't ready to go to an outsource where it was more service-based. We, we, we still wanted to know the individuals and incorporate them into our Zurich culture to be part of our team rather than be an external.